Hey, this is Dr. Eric Philippi with RPI. I just wanted to give you a quick tip on the medial ankle, specifically related to the tibial nerve. So um, I want to show you an ultrasound of the region just posterior to the medial malleolus in between the Achilles tendon and the medial malleolus. And this quick tip is going to kind of just show you image optimization and a few other techniques with ultrasound to make sure that we are doing a safe injection and ultra also being able to get good imaging of that nerve. So the tibial nerve uh, it branches off the sciatic in the posterior thigh, uh, makes its way all the way through the musculature kind of along the back side of the tibia, and then uh, becomes fairly exposed at the posterior medial malleolus and, into, and then branches off into a few nerves in the foot. We'll talk about those more at the upcoming conference. Um, when I put the ultrasound on, this is sometimes a difficult spot to ultrasound because what you can get is a air gap in between the Achilles and the medial malleolus where you're getting good contact with the probe on the Achilles and the medial malleolus, but then you just don't have good skin contact in between. And on our ultrasound image, you can really see how there's just basically dead space with no information right here because we're not getting good contact. Now, if I push harder, I can make sure I can close that gap. The other way so that I'm not pushing too hard and making the patient uncomfortable is just to put some more gel there. Fill that gap rather than with air, fill that gap with gel. And we can sometimes call that a standoff here, It'd just be making sure there's enough gel. Now on our ultrasound image, you can see here's the skin, and then this hypoechoic dark area here is just gel. Okay. Couple things to note here, left side of the image is anterior, right side of the image is posterior, and I can see a couple vessels right here, and then I see a hyperechoic structure right next to those vessels. Um, to figure out what those vessels are, we can compress them and see the ones that wink at us, those would be the veins, the one that doesn't close when I compress, that would be the artery. And then to be able to identify the tibial nerve in this region, we're looking for a oval or circular structure that might have a honeycomb pattern and that is hyperechoic with a hyperechoic epineurium or outside to it. And so one of the ways that I like to identify nerves is by using the ultrasound feature of anisotropy. Really it's an artifact in that when sound waves are coming out of the ultrasound, if they hit a structure, uh, perpendicular and reflect off that structure, that structure might be brighter. When those sound waves come out of the ultrasound and glance off of a, a structure at an angle, that structure may not give as much echo to the ultrasound transducer and we see it as darker. And so I can toggle the ultrasound back and forth like this and on the image what I'm looking for is when is, is a hyperechoic round structure. I'm going to put the arrow sign on there. Hopefully your ultrasound comes with an arrow sign too. That's a joke. Um, and that as I rock through this angle change, you can see how we've got the nerve in view right here and it's nice and white. And as I angle further, that same exact footprint of my transducer without sliding it at all can make that nerve not quite visible at all. If you placed your probe down in this position, you'd say, I don't see a nerve anywhere. So one of the ways that we can identify where those anatomical structures, especially nerves are, is just with a little bit of a toggle of the transducer and see where we can make that nerve show up a little bit brighter. Hope that's helpful. We'll see you at the upcoming conference.